Hey, I'm with Cheshi. How are you guys? Hey, go. Good. Good. All right. When can we Hi. expect new music from Cheshi? Very soon. Yeah. I mean, we just recorded that one today. <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah. we're so starting. Soon. We're starting the recording of another one tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Which, right here. Yeah. You like Is it gonna be like a two-song EP? It's a single. It's a single. Just a single. That's cool. So, what do you guys think of Evan being in the band now? Be honest. We love, not, we love him. Yes. Oh. We tried out multiple drummers, and it was a super hard decision to come by. Yeah, they were all named Evan, but this was the best one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was it tough being in Cheshire? Is it tough? Cause Still you're... is. Still. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a total change. Total change? It's a total change. I'm what, used to hitting what, as hard as I can the whole time. What's the thing you learned the most? Um, I knew about dynamics. <laughs> uh... No, there was there was like we were learning a song and we like did the intro part of it and we came in to like the verse part and Ashley stopped and was like, Hey, do a little do a little softer on that part. So then the loud part is like more intense. And I was like, got it. <laughs> there are five, six songs on the EP. How many? Five. Five? Five and songs. How on many EP. more do you have? Probably close to eight more? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Between, between eight and ten other way. songs. Yeah, we're ready. Yeah, we're ready. Are you gonna go back in before the end of the year? It's April. I don't know. Uh, we really kind of want to get this EP out as much as possible, and we yeah. really want to play out for the last year since we started. We've been pretty centralized here in the Frederick area. Um, we've been fortunate to go out to like Baltimore once, and Northern Virginia once, and DC a couple times, and Shepherdstown a couple times. But we really want to um, capitalize on kind of the uh, the buzz that. Our EP has. It's not much right now, but I think if we play out more. How were you receiving? Did you get good crowds? And yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I think one of the cool things about our band is that we lend ourselves to a diverse crowd. We played with like dream pop bands to just straight up indie rock bands to folk bands to metal bands, and no matter which kind of show flavor we're a part of, um, the reception's always been awesome. It's good. It's good. Mm-hmm. Now. I want to get your perception of the the current Frederick music scene, man. There's a lot of good stuff That's going on. What do you guys think? The the venue thing is kind of a big so the venue, deal, of right? course. We yeah, get what, many no more touring bands in if we had a venue. A venue, yeah. yeah so well, how was it at the Weinberg? Weinberg was, was amazing. Yeah. That was. That, was really cool. that's not like a normal venue, though. No. I mean, if we could no. pay a band yeah. back for a show with the Weinberg, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'd be doing all right. That was a special thing. <clears throat> yeah. No, that was phenomenal. It was yes. a great night. That was our EP release. Um, it was amazing. Like I was saying to somebody after the show, um, I'd been seeing shows and playing shows in Frederick for 20 years this year, and the Weinberg was like the only place <laughs> I'd never played in Frederick, so that was like a huge bucket list kind of thing for me. I want to know, just however briefly, like sort of the songwriting process for you guys. Is Ashley, do you just bring songs in and, and you guys work it out, or is it, yeah. is it more collaborative? Like, do you guys I mean, ever, it is like, collaborative. In yeah. a way, I'll bring a bare bones kind of song I've written on an acoustic guitar, mm-hmm. and then um, we fill it, we fill it in. I mean, these guys are amazing musicians, and they just kind of get it, you know, um, and they bring their own thing. Ashley will will send us like a iPhone recording of her with her acoustic guitar, and. We'll, we'll think about it, we'll kind of mess around with it at home. We'll play it at practice a couple times. Um, Evan and Trevor are super great at improving things. I have super anxiety when it comes to like <laughs> jamming. Do you guys ever argue over parts? No. 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 <laughs> We're not Wait. scared to try anything. No, no yeah. We- so. Yeah. So what if it's like this? Like something com- the complete opposite of what we were just doing. What if we just try it like that, just to see? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think we're all very self-editing. If we hear something that we're doing that's not contributing to the song itself, um, we're pretty good at changing it ourselves. So yeah. it's really cool. Mm-hmm. If you could kill one member of the band, who would it be? <laughs> like collectively? <laughs> or? Collectively. Like to be like we're on a desert vote? island and we're all hungry. Yeah, you're all hungry. No one. I would no die. One? You'd yeah. die. Yeah. Oh, we would all collectively die at the same time. Yeah, holding mm-hmm. hands. Yeah, that was eating like, coconuts. That's the yeah. best answer. Mm-hmm. If there's a band that maybe a lot of people don't know about locally, that maybe they haven't played out that much or whatever, but you guys are aware of them, uh, is there a band that you guys are sort of a fan of? 
Um, Luna, double motorcycle. Oh. Yeah. Um, double hamburger. Yes. Double hamburger. Middle kid. Middle kid. Blue, Blue heaven. Blue heaven. See, There's I a lot of good ones. Really good. I love Claw. Um, I know that Claw. most yeah, of the I bands like relocated to the Baltimore area, but that's probably one of the, to me at least, most important bands to come out of this area in a super long time. Uh, the the last thing, what's next? <laughs> what's next for Cheshire? What are you guys? What are you guys up to, man? Tell the world. We're recording, recording. a single tomorrow. Yeah, all weekend really. What's the name of the song? Poison. Poison. What's it about? Um, I was traveling in um, Fayetteville. West Virginia um, with my girlfriend, and it's the most beautiful place I, I have ever been in my entire life. Mm. Rock formations, rivers, forest, beautiful. You could weep looking at the fog rolling through those mountains. And the river there, the water supply is completely polluted and poisoned from chemical runoff from factory. It's been happening a lot in West Virginia. Charleston had like a really big um, chemical spill there too. I don't know if anyone's heard about it. I mean, like we've seen in Flint and everything, it, it is an epidemic of li life, the essence of life in America that people neglect because it's in these places where it's lower income, more kind of behind the, f the front lines of what we see on TV. And it inspired me. I, we were driving down the road, and I, I wrote that as like just a spoken word poem. And uh, I, you know, added, I created a song out of it. That, so you're gonna record it tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Yes. And when can people expect to hear it? When it's uh, done. When, yeah. <laughs> we don't really rush stuff like that. We take things as it happens. Yeah. I mean, it kind of just. Uh, <laughs> It, it all fell into place, you know, and we'll just take we'll just take that as it, cool. you know, organically occurs, you know. Well, I I think we can all thank you so much for coming here. I know Evan was very hard to work with today, but we'll let him go. Uh, Every I, dog uh, has his day. It's day. <laughs> thank you, Cheshi. <laughs> thank you, guys. <laughs>